USS Lionfish, SS-298. She was built at the Cramp Shipbuilding Corporation in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Her propulsion was four diesel engines and four electric motors. She had two propellers. Her length was 312 feet and her beam was 27.2 feet. The draft was 15.4 feet. The displacement on the surface was approximately 1,525 tons. Submerged, she displaced 2,400 tons. Her surface speed was approximately 20.25 knots, and her submerged speed was approximately 8.75 knots. Her armaments were 10 5.33 millimeter torpedo tubes, six forward and six aft, one 5 inch 25 caliber gun, one 40 millimeter gun, one 20 millimeter gun, and four 50 caliber machine guns. The crew was approximately 10 officers and 70 enlisted men. The USS Lionfish was a Balao class submarine. USS Lionfish was laid down on 15th of December, 1942. She was launched on November 7th, 1943 and commissioned on November 1st, 1944. Her first captain was Lieutenant Commander Edward D. Spruance, son of the famous World War II Admiral Raymond Spruance. After completing her shakedown cruise off of New England, she headed to the Pacific and commenced with her first war patrol in Japanese waters on April 1, 1945. Ten days later, she dodged two torpedoes fired at her by a Japanese submarine and on May 1st destroyed a Japanese schooner with her deck guns. After a rendezvous with the submarine Ray, she transported B-29 survivors to Supan and then made her way to Midway Island for replenishment. On the 2nd of June, she started her second war patrol, and on July 10th, she fired torpedoes at a surfaced Japanese submarine, after which Lionfish's crew heard explosions and observed smoke through their periscope. She subsequently fired on two more Japanese submarines and ended her second and last war patrol performing lifeguard duty, the rescue of downed flyers off the coast of Japan. When hostilities ended on August 15th, she headed for San Francisco and was decommissioned at Mar Island Navy Yard on January 16, 1946. The USS Lionfish was recommissioned on January 31, 1951 and headed for the East Coast for training cruises. After participating in NATO exercises and a Mediterranean cruise, she returned to the East Coast and was decommissioned at the Boston Navy Yard on December 15, 1953. In 1960, a venerable submarine was called to duty again, this time serving as a reserve training submarine at Providence, Rhode Island. In 1971, she was stricken from the Navy Register, and in 1973, she was unveiled for permanent display as a memorial at Battleship Cove, where she has evolved into one of the museum's most popular exhibits in a revered monument to all submarines.